Hey, what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to do a final prediction for Haney versus Lomachenko. Um, really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time right now. Subscribe to the channel. Only takes one click. Also, hit that thumbs up button. Only takes one click. Uh, let's jump into this. Um, I'm just going to run down a list of attributes as I typically do. And basically, either this guy's going to get the nod and he's going to get the point, or that guy's going to get the nod and the point. And whoever has more points in the end, when I tally up, that's the guy that I'm going with. And I'll explain why. So let's start with speed. Uh, there was a point in time when Lomachenko was a very fast guy. Uh, but, you know, he's older now. And he has a lot of wear and tear on his body. Uh, he's had a few surgeries as well. Um, Devin Haney's young. He's very, very young. He's under 25 young. Um, he's fast as well. He's very, very fast. His hand, is, he's fast. He is faster than Lomachenko. They're, listen, maybe two, three years ago, maybe not. But he's faster than Lomachenko. Definitely when it comes to speed, I got to give that to Devin Haney. Power. Look at the size of Devin Haney. Devin Haney's head was much bigger than Lomachenko's head. Uh, you know, like when, when they faced off. And the first thing that you notice when you see these guys facing off is the size of Devin Haney. And Lomachenko has also, you know, said, wow, he looks like a bodybuilder. You know, so there's going to be an uphill battle in just what Lomachenko is going to be able to do with Devin Haney physically. But... Devin Haney can, can muscle Lomachenko back in many ways. If they go into the clinch, I don't see Lomachenko having any success. If they, they, they wrestle, I don't see Lomachenko having any success. Um, but also, Devin Haney's been working on those power shots, and I've been following Devin Haney pre pretty closely on uh, you know social media. And he's looking pretty strong, um, and he's throwing some heavy shots. So, I don't know. Definitely, when it comes to power, we're t still talking about Devin Haney. Footwork. There was a point in time when I was would easily say Vasily Lomachenko, but that time has passed. He's not what he used to be, especially like I, I probably said like three years ago. It's not what he used to be. Um, it, it would definitely be a tie in this. I think Lomachenko still has a lot of those tricks in terms of his movements, but if you've noticed in you know the last fights that he's had, they those tricks in that movement they fade away as the rounds go by. While Devin Haney, what he does, he can do for 12 rounds easy. Again, he's under 25. He can do what he does for 12 rounds easy. But on top of that, Devin Haney doesn't exhaust a lot of energy when he's doing the things that he does. He's very great at using simple attacks and simple movements and doing what he has to do with that so he can preserve himself for a lot of rounds. So Devin Haney, again. Um, let's see. Heart. I'm going to give this to Lomachenko only because... Let's face it, he's been down a few times. He's got up, he's faced some adversity. He had some some rough, tough fights. I mean, that fight with um, Teofimo Lopez was no walk in the park. And like I said, he's been down a few times. You you, you know, you got to give it to him. With the Linares fight, you got to give it to him. Uh, Devin Haney's only been, they have that in common. Um, so Linares cracked Devin Haney. Now, if that fight, and I've said several times, if that fight were maybe 90 seconds more, I think... Lenaris could have possibly gotten Devin Haney out of there. He he definitely did not have his legs. And that, that follow-up shot was, could have easily put Devin Haney away. But we'll never know. And I don't foresee those two crossing paths anytime soon in the future. So we'll never know what could have happened. Um, when, it, when it comes to, you know, just having that, that, that heart, I got to give it to Lomachenko. He's been down. He's faced more adversity. The only adversity I can think of is Devin Haney getting cracked at the end of a round that there was no follow-up. So, therefore, I'm not saying Devin Haney doesn't have heart, but he hasn't shown the amount of heart that Vasily Lomachenko has showed in the past. So, therefore, we have to give it to Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, championship rounds. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Lomachenko has been in more fights, obviously. He's been in more championship fights, obviously. So when it comes to championship rounds, it only makes sense that it's Vasily Lomachenko. However, Devin Haney, you know, he, he is a unified champ. He did go to enemy territory to get that crown. We, we got to give him that. So I think it's just safe to say, you know, when it comes to championship rounds, uh, well, honestly, I'm going to change this on the fly. I was going to say it was going to be a tie, but no, and I'll tell you why, because Vasily Lomachenko just has more fights. So therefore, championship rounds, I got to give it to Vasily Lomachenko. And it's not like he's a, he's, a, uh, he's a knockout artist. So 
all 400 of his fights, a lot of those have gone, the vast majority of those have gone to championship rounds. I got to give it to Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, let's see, the mentality. Okay, so who has a stronger mentality when it's in the ring? Now, again, you, you, it's almost unfair in a sense when you talk about Vasily Lomachenko because all that he's done and his resume. It's quite extensive. And you, you can't have a matchup like this and not talk about 400 fights. But at the same time, um, Devin Haney is a unified champ. So we just need to make that a tie. Because we can't look past the fact that he's a unified champ. And he did it so young. You can't look past that. I'm sorry. You just can't look past the fact that he's a unified champ. Yes, you've had all these fights, but that shows his grit, his determination. That shows his mental focus. And you got to give it to him. Uh, what's next? Ring IQ. Okay. Devin Haney. So here's the thing. Again, Vasily Lomachenko's resume. 400 fights, um, you know, only losing like a handful, less than a handful, actually. But I'm going to say a tie because Devin Haney has been raised under the tutelage of the, Ray, the the Mayweather banner. And I'm talking way back when Roger was still alive and very much active as a trainer. Um, and he's pretty much worked with all the, the Mayweathers from Roger uh, Mayweather Sr. Uh, and Floyd. You know, like he's he's worked with all of them and he still gets help and pointers from from Mayweather senior senior and Mayweather Jr. So therefore, let's just call that a tie because, listen, yeah, you could say that he's had more fights and all of that. But the reality is the amount of knowledge that has been passed down and wisdom in the ring that has been passed down to Devin Haney is no joke. And that wisdom and knowledge goes back decades with Mayweather Sr. So there we go. Uh, defense. I'm going to say Devin Haney. Lomachenko does get hit. Even when Lomachenko was the Matrix, he was getting hit. He was getting tagged. Um, so Devin Haney, he gets hit a whole lot less. Devin Haney, he, he doesn't just have defense um, upstairs. He has defense downstairs. Um, and that says a lot because it's very hard to hit Devin Haney. Um, he is naturally a cautious fighter. So it's, again, very hard to hit Devin Haney. But on top of that, he controls distance very well. So it's very hard to hit Devin Haney. Um, so when it comes to defense, I got to give it to Devin Haney. Durability. Have you seen the size of De Devin Haney? He does look like a, 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 an action figure at this point. You know, his muscles have muscles. And he's a lot bigger than Vasily Lomachenko. So it is going to be an uphill battle for him. I'm not saying that it's not winnable for Vasily Lomachenko. He's an old dog with a whole lot of tricks. But um, it is definitely going to be an uphill battle. It's not going to be easy for him to hurt Devin Haney. Uh, we already know that Devin Haney's defense is darn near impregnable. But let's just say he does manage to get inside the, the uh, defenses of Devin Haney. Then he's going to have to hurt Devin Haney. And that's going to be something, another mountain to climb. Because, again, Vasily Lomachenko is not known as the hardest puncher in the world. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But it's definitely Devin Haney when it comes to durability. Cardio. There was a point in time when, you know, Vasily Lomachenko could prance and, and bounce around the ring for 12 rounds. No problem. But I got to give it to Devin Haney. Again, he's younger. He has younger legs. Um, he has less wear and tear. You know, I don't believe he's had any surgeries. If, if I'm wrong on that, please put that in the comments. But I don't believe he's had any surgeries. Um, and the way he fights, he doesn't exude a whole lot of energy. He doesn't exert a whole lot of energy. He's not like just burning energy. He's not doing all these flashy jump around type, you know, movements that that's going to make him exert a lot of energy. So it's, again, I would definitely say Devin Haney for cardio. Um, let's see distance control. Definitely, definitely Devin Haney for this fight in order for Vasily Lomachenko to, to win or for this fight to even be competitive, he's going to have to get inside the defenses of Devin Haney, which is not going to be easy. Um, but on top of that, you know, it's just going to be hard to fight him on the outside because Devin Haney controls distance so well. Devin Haney has a lightning fast jab and it's a really stiff jab. We've seen what it did to George Gambosos. So imagine what it's going to do to Vasily Lomachenko, who's smaller. It's going to do some real damage. And it's going to be setting up a lot of power shots. Uh, let's see. Body work. 
Vasily Lomachenko does fight in the inside, but a lot of that stuff is like check hooks and, um, you know, uppercuts. He's not known to be a body, you know, a, a real body puncher or anything like that. Neither one of them really known for being like massive body punchers, but I would still favor Devin Haney. Again, because of his size, again, because of the punching power, I do believe he can knock Vasily Lomachenko out. I do not believe Vasily Lomachenko can knock out Devin Haney. Uh, but look at the size difference between the two guys. Um, and Devin Haney, I think, knowing that he's fighting such a smaller guy who is not known to, you know, for having a whole lot of power in his hands, I know he's going to sit down in this fight. And just watching you know, his training, I, I feel like a, a sustained body attack is going to be a huge weapon and, and um, a go-to in this fight. And I think it might even be a deciding factor in this fight. Uh, creativity. Again, there was a point in time with Devin uh, Vasily Lomachenko. I think he still has a lot of tricks. I just don't know if he's going to be able to implement them with somebody like Devin Haney. I think in order for Vasily Lomachenko to do the things that he does creatively, or creatively, um, it, it will require an opponent to press him. And Devin Haney will press, but he's also, again, naturally a cautious fighter. So he will press, but he's never going to press to the point where he's in danger. He's never going to press to the point where he's um, in the range of Vasily Lomachenko. He will press where he's in the range of of doing damage himself to Vasily Lomachenko, but not vice versa. So, yeah, he definitely gets the nod for having more creativity. The question is, will he be able to implement any of those things? And again, as I said before, we have to be honest, Devin Haney was raised on Vasily Lomachenko. He's been watching Vasily Lomachenko for a long, long time, since he was a teen. So now, you know, he's a grown man and he's a unified champ. I don't know if a lot of that stuff, those tricks are gonna work that those setups are going to work against Devin Haney because he's had a lot of time to study Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, last but not least, we have versatility. Um, again, I would say Vasily Lomachenko only because he's been down a few times and because he's had more experience in the ring. He's older. So yeah, when it comes to versatility, you know, Vasily Lomachenko has seen more things, but that's not necessarily going to grant you anything because you're not fighting somebody who's coming in to steamroll you. You're fighting somebody who has a, a mentality of winning by points, and he doesn't have any issues with doing so. Um, he could care less, Devin Haney, could care less if people are booing, if they think it's a boring fight or whatever the case may be. His only thing is, I'm walking out of this ring victorious. I came in with some belts, I'm walking out with some belts. That's the only thing that he cares about. And, well, finishing up now, looking at my tally, I have... Devin the Dream Haney winning. I honestly think that he's going to win by a knockout. Like I said, he's looking really massive right now. You can clearly see that they've just been working on power shots. They, they want to really use the size factor in this fight. And I can clearly see that, you know, I can clearly see uh, Devin Haney muscling Vasily Lomachenko down, walking Vasily Lomachenko down, cutting off the ring and not giving him any space to operate and also keeping that distance and frustrating him with that long jab. And I, I can see him, you know, putting him out within 12 rounds, I, I, probably within 10 rounds, to be honest with you. Um, if Vasily Lomachenko tries coming in, with, you know, against Devin Haney, what he, what he did, but like somebody like a Teofimo Lopez, that's not going to work because you're not going to be that close. And that's going to be a problem for, for Vasily Lomachenko. I just see him having more hurdles in this fight than Devin Haney. In which case, I got to go with Devin Haney. He's one of my tally, but also, you know, he's young, he's strong, he's fast, and he's very knowledgeable. But he's not the type of guy who will put himself in danger. And I feel like at this stage in Vasily Lomachenko's career, he would need a guy to totally commit. In which case, Devin Haney is definitely, definitely not that guy. So that is my final prediction for Vasily Lomachenko and Devin Haney. Drop your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree with the tally. Tell me if you don't agree with the tally. Drop your thoughts down below. As always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.